What's up guys? Today we're processing and baling some different grades of copper. Copper is one of the more valuable items we handle on a daily basis here around the scrapyard. So I wanted to show you guys how we're sorting it and separating it and then how we run it through our baler and turn it from a loose material into a nice neat uniform package like these bales you see right here behind me. So let's get started. So right here we've got some copper that we're getting ready to bale and then we've actually got a few bales of copper that are already done. So I can show you what that looks like. But in this dumpster bin and in this box, we got what we call new production number one copper. It's basically just new copper tubing that hasn't been used. It's a lot of cut off pieces or bad coils, damaged coils, things like that. We're getting ready to run that through the baler. So I'll show you that process in just a second. And then back here, we've got some finished bales and these are the same type of material. This is number one copper that we've already baled. And we put shrink wrap around it just to keep all the small pieces from falling out if it has any. And then anything that does fall out, we just sweep out or sweep up and put in a Gaylord box like one of these. The only material we're not baling that's copper is our Bear Bright copper, which you can see in that box over there is just stripped copper wire. The mill we're selling our copper to actually prefers to have the Bear Bright loose in a box rather than baled. And since the boxes can get pretty heavy with the loose material, we just do that and we can ship it out just as easily. But we're gonna take this out to the baler and dump it on the conveyor belt, run it through the machine, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. You can see the material just rides up the conveyor belt into the actual baler. And so right now all we're doing is moving the conveyor belt up so we can get the rest of this material on the belt and dump another bin. So as we're dumping this material, we constantly sweep up and make sure there's no dirt or other metal. And then after we dump it, we manually go through it and make sure it's all a uniform package. It has a pallet in the bottom, or the bottom of a box and where something else is stacked on top of it. See, pulling out some wire and any other grades that might be mixed in. Some of this material we receive from other recycling companies or other businesses that bring it already in a box or in a bin. So we always wanna double check that it's completely clean and uniform when we're bailing it.
jump the third bin, that should be enough material to make one full bale. A bale of this material typically weighs between 3,000 and 3,500 pounds. And so we try to make sure we have enough material to make a full bale whenever we're baling it. That way we don't have to run the material twice. And usually three bins is right out of bale. And then after the material comes up the conveyor belt, it gets dumped into the hopper. So now on this bale, we'll wrap it with shrink wrap just to keep any small pieces from falling out. It's more so just so when it goes on a truck and rides down the road and gets delivered, they don't have to worry about sweeping the trailer out. But this product is now ready to be delivered directly to the mill and be melted down into new products. Typically speaking, we're making four grades of copper here at our yard. And this is an example of our number two copper. So this is a slightly lower grade than the number one because there's more contaminants and it recovers less. So this material is made up of wire, tubing, plated material like silver or tin plated material. You can see some of this tubing has paint on it and solder joints which is why this material is worth a little bit less because it has more contamination than the number one copper. And this is what the finished bale looks like of the new production copper tubing. It's extremely clean, uh, there's no contaminants, and this makes a pretty good heavy bundle. Same thing on these, we'll put shrink wrap around them just to keep any small pieces, but typically there's not much small stuff mixed in with this material. And so this material in this box is our bare bright copper wire. It's basically all just stripped wire. This is the only copper product that we are currently not baling. We can bale it and we have baled it. It's just the current mill that we are selling most of our copper to actually prefers to have this material loose in these boxes. It's just easier for them to handle when it gets there. When we bale this material, that baler can make such a heavy dense bale that this material could easily weigh more than five, 6,000 pounds. So it's harder for them to handle with their forklifts. Whereas when it's in this box, they typically weigh around 2,000, 2,500 pounds a piece. Well, that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to show you guys how we're processing and baling our different grades of copper. We purchased this material from the public, from other businesses, from manufacturers, also from other scrap recycling companies. And then after we handle it and process it and turn it into these bales, it is ready to head to a copper mill where it can be melted down and made into new products. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.